Welcome guys, you are at the Metabolic Health Docs YouTube channel. And if you're new to the channel, my goal is to help you become metabolically healthy. I have a guest with me, his name is Blaze of the Blaze V YouTube channel. There's a link in the notes. And we wanna talk a little bit about cholesterol because your doctor is telling you, let's lower your cholesterol. But we have a surprise for you. If you lower your cholesterol, that may be a problem. So, Blaze, that sounds insane. Everybody's trying to lower their cholesterol. How <laughs> dare you suggest that we don't do that? So, why don't you give them a little biochemistry as you do on your YouTube channel so we'll understand why that may be a problem, cholesterol. Yeah. So, turns out cholesterol is a little bit more important than we think because all these hormones, for instance, testosterone, it could be estrogen, it could be even DHT, really important in your hair, it could be allopregnenolone in mood, by the way, for instance, if you're having a mood swing, there's a pretty good chance that it might be allopregnenolone, it could even be pregnenolone and it basically influencing pregnancy and whether or not the immune system even attacks the baby by accident because a lack of pregnenolone, it could even be aldosterone important in regulating blood pressure. Yes, that's right. Blood pressure. It's very important. Now, how do you get rid of all these problems? Cortisol, corticosterone, all of these things are all related to cholesterol. And if you wow. don't have enough of it, your body starts to malfunction and kind of freak out a bit. And this is exactly why lowering cholesterol actually increases all-cause mortality by 22%. Because it turns out that cholesterol is so important for hormone synthesis, when you lower it, specifically in the Minnesota Coronary Heart Survey, by 30 milligrams per deciliter, you increase all-cause mortality by 22%. Now that is such a massive margin that if you were to have a cholesterol of 300 and your friend had a cholesterol of 100, he is 140% plus more likely to die because of all-cause mortality because he can't produce all these hormones. And remember, testosterone, estrogen, aldosterone, uh, cortisol, corticosterone, all allopregnenolone, you name it, vitamin D, bile acids, all of it, your brain for that matter, every single one of these things they require cholesterol. So this is why lowering cholesterol isn't the best idea. <laughs> wow, that, that, that just blew uh, a lot of people's minds. And we'll probably uh, share a little research in the notes to help substantiate these crazy claims. Uh, when you first started talking about hair, I got a little nervous, but I think I'll, <laughs> I'll live with that. It, this is my destiny, man. So I just want to <laughs> encourage people to continue to have a model of continuous learning and, and when you hear things that sound so far-fetched as, you know, low cholesterol can be a problem, continue to do research. We'll share some of that research. But at the end of the day, uh, us carnivores have a very high cholesterol, high-fat diet, and we're doing just fine. I have a zero calcium score. Uh, my cholesterol tests have looked great. And it's because I have a low inflammatory body, metabolically healthy, which is what we want for all of you. So thank you for coming to this video. Check out Blaze V's video and uh, YouTube channel. And until the next video from the Metabolic Health Doc, continue to be safe, be well, and continue to protect your nest.